You cannot see that. Steady, steady. Yeah, unboxing on in the chair is not exactly a good thing, but uh, it's just gonna have to do for right now. Not that I can unbox in the um, not that I can't unbox in the unboxing area. Let me saw if I'm in more frame. No, I can't back box unbox in the unboxing area. It's just that. The guitar won't fit. It won't work there very well. So we're back again doing another unboxing video with the camera. And this time in the chair with the guitar as I'm very, very, very uncomfortable because I can never be comfortable with making videos. Just isn't the thing I can be. And I've been pushing myself a lot today and I just... Uh, I really shouldn't have. Um, but anyway, I'm in a lot of pain right now because I was sorting on the Legos. Um, the Lego box sets into different containers, and I'm just drained. Um, even just from that, yes, I am, I'm drained from that because I am disabled. But anyway, so uh, we are. Uh, so, oh hi, it's Stir, by the way. Uh, we are unboxing some guitar stuff. Or some more guitar stuff, I should say. My, my old containing situation. A lot, a lot of this from. Uh, some of this is from Timu. Some of this is from Musician's Friend. Some of this is from Guitar Center. Some of this is from Amazon. Excuse me. Some of this is from eBay. And, um, yeah, so let's get started first off. Let's get some easy things out of the way. I got some lemon oil for doing the fretboard when I change the strings in a million years whenever it wears out. It still sounds fine. It still sounds fine, so I, I don't need to change it out right now. Apparently, strings wear out just from being just from, just from existing in an atmosphere. So you want to sw swap them uh, more often than what I'm more often than what I and most people do. Yeah, just a good old done loop, uh, done loop. Oh, you can, yeah, you can do that. Done loop uh, lemon oil. Just spray it on the thing and wipe it. Also, I got some fret polishing things where you polish the frets right and not try to hit the. Then I try to be polish the frets, make sure that they're all clean and, and whatever. Uh, I'm gonna put these guys up here, make it a bit easier on myself. I want to get this done because I want to hear how this one's. I want to hear how this one sounds, and I need to see if it works. It might not work. I did get an open box for me, but someone was trying to get rid of it, and I got a really good price for it. Well, I only got ten dollars off, including because because shipping, of course. Then compared to Amazon, but um, you need it from new Amazon. But it is ten dollars that I didn't have to spend, so that's nice, especially when we're trying to be more frugal. Got this off Timu. It's a it's a Nintendo SD card type, or it's a variation of a Nintendo SD card slash CD holder. Uh, SD card, geez. Nintendo uh, cartridge slash CD holder, but for picks. So, yeah. Let's just dump the majority of my picks into the. Oh, uh, this might not work. Huh, I think this isn't going to work. I did lose some of my picks to the two. The area behind the chair, because I um I let that happen, unfortunately. Let's get one of each into the holes. Actually, lift this up. Get 
guitar center demo pick, also a pick that you use if you didn't bring your own. Again, sorry, I'm exhausted and I'm at an angle for this. Yeah, I'm exhausted. I'm nauseous. It's just not, I'm just not having a great time right now. Got my 2.0 pick. And my X Max Grip 1.0 pick. Have one of each down here. And there we go. Next up, let's get out more picks. Got some extra flexi picks, which I was curious on. These are point fifty, I think. But I've been really wanting to try these picks on the guitar because I don't know which direction to go in. Do I want thicker? Because we got thicker. We got 3.5. Do I want thinner? We got 0.50 flex. Like which one, which ones do I think will help me play the guitar better? You're playing my Jackson JS22 better. We'll find out in this video. At least which direction I should be heading in. If not stay at extremes. Yeah, very, very, very flexy. And they hold its shape really well. Put that there. Next up. Sorry, I just ate. I ate way earlier than this, but uh, never mind. Well, it just happens to be that way. Got flow extra extra fix. These are four twenty four a uh, four four twenty millimeters, and they're massive. I word they're massive. Which is why man noticed I didn't think these guys in the Timu video were five me were five millimeters. Although it's Chinese millimeters are different than normal millimeters, because these are four twenty. I'm pretty sure they're four twenty because they, these are done loop. So yeah, these are I'm, I'm these I'm very uh, I'm very very interested in trying. They barely fit. Uh, one of them barely fits because, of course, I'm only having one in one in the uh, ready rack at a time. One in the collection at a time. The other one can just stick it right down there. And then got then I have this guy and have my actual ready pick that goes with the guitar, whichever I find to be the best one at the time. And then my extra picks if I need them to slap in the back of that. Make sure that's it. There for now. And this was and this was from this was from Musician's Friend. Only holds one pick or so. Again, I'm not doing no, I'm going to go over the prices unfortunately. I know for um Reasons. No new pick holder. Oh, 
Okay. Just as I envisioned. Actually, yeah. Just as I envisioned, I knew that would work. And then just put your picks in there. Let submit. There we go. This be our winner. This be for our winner and its backups. And its backups are at least a couple winners. No, nope, probably just for the backups. And I originally got this instead of this. Because I, I, it was a fun shape. I didn't realize it came with picks though, which is a problem. They can stay there, I guess. I'll take the one I like the most. Actually, there are two rainbow ones. There are two rainbow ones. I'll take the rainbow one to go into our official pack. Use random Chinesium. Use random pure Chinesium. Uh, I don't know, they're different sizes. Uh, oh, I think. I, they're all probably just one millimeter. You just say different sizes, because why not? There we go. Okay. Um, actually. Um, actually, we could have the entire thing on the guitar. I would need to unscrew this. Are these screws coming on time? Probably. I'm going to unscrew this and put that on there, but yeah, we got the entire thing on the guitar. Fantastic. Oh, this one needs to go over there. All right, or like, stay like that for right now. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll miss the picks in the second once we get the, once we get the second part of this video done. Yeah. Now, again, it, for for the retail price, you could probably get a used practice amp, which would be better just in general. Except if you really need it to be spawn mobile and don't really care about the sound quality. But as you can see, it's actually very, very new in box. Very, 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 very new in box. I'm gonna have to. There we go. And these do have working carrying handles, which no one mentions. Probably because they're not very good. Probably because they're not very good at so why would anyone mention them? Um. Let me see if it's on. It's off. Good. Let's set everything at 12 o'clock. See, it hasn't even been touched. Makes you wonder why someone was selling it. And they also sold it in an Amazon bag. So it make, makes you wonder why someone was instantly selling it after they got it. Maybe they were hoping to collect it. Or maybe, maybe they were hoping to... Uh, maybe they were hoping to... Uh, 
uh, get off on someone for a higher price. I mean, they were trying. They were trying to bid. They were trying to bid. Uh, they were they were trying to uh, auction it, but it just wasn't happening. And you can't get more of these. These aren't like limited runs or anything. Make sure that's on there. Kind of cheap plastic, cheap, cheap plastic and hollow. Don't see a light. Maybe it just has a dead battery. Or oh, I just put the battery in backwards. Yep, we got a light. Very, very cheap. Very, very cheap and thinny. Not well shielded. I'm hearing buzzing. Let's get ourselves a Cable Matters cable. As you can see, these are very light. Like, you can have one on your belt, although this one doesn't have room for that. You just sit next to you. But it is very, very light. Yeah, it works. It works. Excuse me. Awkward of my setup. Very awkward of my setup.
Okay, let's try good old Max. Actually, let's try Guitar Center. I don't think I'm not a Guitar Center. Just try one, one oh. Open strings. Ah, it doesn't sound too bad. Also, another thing I noticed about Luke Jackson is, about the JS-22 is these guys are very monophonic. That means you can you pick up vibrations really easily, as you can tell. Let's try clean. Looks like I see controls. Can hear it over the unplug sound. This sound twelve. At 12 o'clock, I mean at 12 actual position. No, we're actually at the 12 position. Drawing actually does sound like a fender. I'm actually kind of shocked. Pe people give the, like, people hate on these, uh, hate on these micro, these micro amps, but uh, these micro amp combos. But... Like, it's not terrible. No, that's on 12. Maybe I need up the volume on this. Yeah, let's try that. I mean, awkward setup is awkward. I got this for playing in other rooms in the house. Uh, my grandma's room and grandpa's room, the living room, stuff like that. Not, not for this. That doesn't sound too bad now, does it? It's up the volume. Up the tone on the guitar. Lower the tone on the guitar. Back to the 12 o'clock. Not bad, not bad at all. Now let's put all the other knobs to max. So tone to max. Uh, drive, overdrive. Oh, it's not going to be good. Let's lower the volume. A little too much overdrive. That's slow tone too. Interesting. Uh, let's try a different pick. The one point the one point I was fine. Let's do more. Actually, let's go in the opposite direction because that'll be easier to recover from. Let's do flex. And let's go back to that fender clean. So, putting down, uh, let's set tone max, drive down to one, volume. Uh, Volume, volume to 12, up the volume on this. I uh, have the tone right around there.
Отдуваем. I like the Max Flex, or the, the 0.50 millimeter Flex. I like it a lot. Because I can hold, I can bend it, I can bend it with my thumb. Another finger is like, I can bend it with my thumb, another finger is like that. And it just glides over the thing. It doesn't force it out of the way, it just works. And it just, because it's so thick, I also fit in between the strings much easier. And much, 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 really, really nice. It's going to get bent out of shape though, so you would need replacements. Um, replacements, that, that's a word. So that's going into the sacred hall of pick usage. Okay, we, we figured out one pick, up, one pick that I like. I, it's completely upside what I thought. His metal players recommend getting thicker picks because thicker picks allow you f for more punishment uh, on your thing. Let's get you point out. Got the got the insane almost five point out uh, picks out too. Let's put that right there. Again, that's trying to get all two point out. It's not too bad, but you can make mistakes. It's easier to make errors with this. Max volume. Or volume. There you go. That's the perfect balance between not hearing the natural, uh, the natural noise of the, the guitar, the natural music of the guitar over the amp. I have gotten better with the picks, though, so that can go into the hall. That can go into at least the backup. Are, are these? Is that? Oh, you can, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. You can at least go into the backup. Now let's try the experiment. How metal can you get? You can probably you can probably can't get more metal than four twenty and four point twenty. So let's just do let's do what we've been doing, which is down up or down the top three, then up the bottom three. That feels so nice. I I need more practice. The flex was just working, but this jet, but this, ooh, I can, the skill ceiling on this is much higher for me. Now let's try picking back and forth on two strings. Much harder than the flex. I'm kind of glad I got all these picks now because they're all great for their own things. Um, at least, in my, at least, like the thicker picks are better for when I'm, I'm a better player at the very least. And then I just go ahead and do that. Um, I mean, there's probably a really good reason they call this one flow. Uh, it just flows across the strings. Not bad, not, not bad at all. Let's put you into the backup. Or not, you're too, you, you too big. We're just gonna have 2.0 there. I might can always find it, it's massive. I just don't, I just can't lose it because they're by far the most expensive ones per pick because they're the most plastic. Oh, 
one? Actually, I'm actually. I can just put this in the hollow hall because it's it's gonna fit. It's gonna fit and oh, there you go. Just damn, these are from. Well, I was just looking at, but anyway. Take you out. Put you there. Put you into the thing. Switch it out a little. And put you into the back up. You can do it. There we go. But yeah, so what do I think? I think they're all worth it. Uh, especially this, if you can get this at a good price. Okay, it probably is. Let's turn that off. See, some battery. And also, we got... This is gonna be a thing. I don't, I don't like how that's touching my guitar. Well, that wasn't too bad. I might need to get another cable, though. I just now realized I'm going to get another cable on this one that keep fetching this every single time I want to, uh, every single time I want to play with this guy, so I might need to just get another cable, another shorter cable, because these are kind of long for what I need to do anyway. Let's put that in there. So yeah, what do I think? Uh, I think they're worth it. I think they were all worth it. The team of stuff, the, uh, the team of stuff, like every, like every bit of that was worth it. Um... So yeah, again, there will be links in the description for reasons, but you can go find, you can uh, easily find that stuff a lot. Oh, most of it was Don Loop. This was a Fender. These were just some bags off Timu. Uh, you can find, you can find the little ones off Timu or off of, um, or off of Musician's Friend, which is a Guitar Center brand. It's their, it's their, um, outlet store or something like it. But anyway, so yeah, that be my first video. I, I I should be able to practice this guitar a lot better now, especially since you saw what I was picking there. Um, I, I just seen the sleep, which I haven't uploaded. Which, but which hopefully before I upload this, I'll upload my uh, my final video on actually practicing with the guitar. Which no, I did that already. Yeah, I uploaded it already. You saw much. You saw I was struggling to get the notes right. Now I should really get the notes right with flex. For sure, or flex, or big boy. But you know, like I'm actually really, really, really happy. I'm actually really, really happy I got this stuff. Um, again, we kind of we di definitely overdid it the last few months. Um, and there is no excuse for that. Ex uh, there is no excuse for that. Uh, sorry for letting it down, but yeah. I need. I need to do better. I absolutely need to do better. So next few months, we're not going to until March. We're not going to get anything more than fifty dollars or anything at all. Like, unless we got coupons or coupons or coupon. Not not coupons. My bad. Credit. Unless we got. Unless we got um a cash back and the team credit and stuff like that. We're not going to be spending any. Any money, I don't think. At least not more than fifty dollars a month, and probably not even that. But anyway, all right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate watching on this video. Please watch me, watch me, watch me. Check out our stuff in the description below, such as various various sports channels, of course, various various blogs, channels for watching these videos, YouTube content for person produced by sharing your friends from Insta. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. And what I I I I I. Really do wonder because one guy did a test. One guy did a test of all the micro amps, literally all of them, and he said this was by far. He said this was F or D tier. It's not too bad. It gives you Fender claims and some overdrive, but don't overdo it. And that's it. So if that's what you want, this is what you get. Kind of sounds like the amp it's trying to uh, mimic. It's trying to be a cube form of. I do gotta say though, they are really cheaply like this guy at least is really cheaply built. Uh, so a lot of that's a lot of that sound may come from the fact that it's really, really, really cheaply built. So that time to twelve. Uh, 
But anyway, so yeah, that'd be it for, that'd be it for still. Thanks for watching. And, and like, I'm not sponsored by anyone. I'm just saying, in case you were wondering that. But anyway, so yeah, that'd be it for still. Thanks for watching. And I guess, see you in a second.